grams of wet flour Red beans, onion, oil, sugar and celery This is my tasty cooking show Happy day Guam, welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. I'm culinary specialist Jonathan Perez and I'm here today with my mother Caroline Martinez. And how about you tell everybody what we're making today mom? So today we're going to make an authentic dish from our island of Puerto Rico called canoas. We thought it would be a great idea to try to replicate this dish here on the island of Guam using your ingredients, which are very similar to our ingredients. So we were able to find all the ingredients. It's sweet plantains stuffed with ground beef and then all the ingredients here, which Jonathan will introduce. So for the picadillo portion, we're gonna use a half pound of ground beef, about a half of tomato, a half of a potato, a pinch of carrots, 10 olives, three Spanish peppers, a fourth of a cup of cilantro, a half of a medium-sized yellow onion, and a half of a bell pepper. And then for seasonings, we're gonna use one bouillon cube of beef, eight ounces of pureed tomato sauce, salt and pepper to taste, cumin, chili powder, and three quarters of a cup of uh, anato seeds, and then the four um, plantain bananas. And then for the sofrito portion, which is gonna be like the seasoning for the picadillo as well. We're gonna use another fourth of a cup of cilantro, a half or a quarter of um, a sweet onion, three sweet Spanish peppers, six to seven cloves of garlic, and then a half of a green bell pepper. So the first step is gonna be the sofrito. So mom, I'll let you start the sofrito. Right, so the first step is the sofrito. The sofrito is a good idea only because you have to use it as a sauce for the beef. And the cool thing about the sofrito is that you're going to be able to use the leftovers for other dishes. You can just store it in the refrigerator and use it for other dishes in the future. So I'm going to use a bullet blender or you can use a food processor or a regular blender. So I'm going to start by inserting or putting the onions in, the cilantro in, and my Spanish peppers, garlic cloves, a bell pepper. This is perfect. Smells right? Yes. Yeah. It's supposed to be green, it's supposed to be chunky, it's supposed to smell really full and is strong. Okay, so now that the sofrito is done, we're gonna go into the picadillo portion. We're gonna heat up some oil here. Make sure this is on. All right. I have it on about medium, medium high heat. I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil just to coat the bottom of the pan. It'll probably be about three tablespoons because the beef will provide a lot more oil as well. And while the oil is heating up, we're gonna add those achote seeds into it to flavor our oil and to add color. Another quick way of doing this, if you have a little packet of sazon, you can just throw a little packet of sazon on there and it'll add the color for you as well. But I like doing it this way. We fry the oil with the seeds. Now that the oil is fully incorporated with the color and flavor of the seeds, I'm gonna turn off the heat and pull out the seeds. To separate the seeds from the oil. So now that all the seeds are separated, pour that oil right back in there, it's those delicious flavors and color. So we're adding the vegetables now. Let's start with the garlic. I'm gonna use three tablespoon sizes of the sofrito. We're gonna sa saute them. We're not, not to where they're burnt, just... Yeah, we're not really trying to ca caramelize them. We're just trying to cook them up a little bit so they're soft. And then we're gonna also add the potatoes now so they can start getting soft. Right. And the olives. Pretty much everything right here, right before the meat is gonna cook, because the meat is gonna be the quickest thing to cook on this pan. And the carrots. <laughs> and the cilantro. Yeah. All right, so everything's been incorporated. But it smells so good. It smells like Mami Kameng's house when she's cooking food. It smells like my mom's house. I'm reminiscing right I now. I know, right? It's... So we're incorporating the tomato sauce now. All right, I think you can add the meat. Just make a circle, make a hole in the middle. 
All right, so all we're gonna do is brown the ground beef, and then as it's browning, it's just gonna soak up all these flavors. I'm gonna use one beef bouillon cube just to help intensify the flavor of the beef. So for the cumin, we're gonna use, I would say about one fourth of a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna eyeball it here because I've been doing this for a little while. And for the chili pepper, the same, one fourth of a teaspoon. And then salt and pepper, just to whatever your taste is. Now we just let that cook. All right, while Jonathan's mixing this, I'm gonna get the plantains going. Pan fry them. I know it's important for me to learn how to cook food like this, especially because I grew up seeing Abuela cooking all the time and everything. And now that I'm able to cook it myself, it's like I can teach my future kids and family to make the same. I know a lot of the girls now that have kids are cooking the Spanish recipes for their daughters and their sons. So it makes us really happy to know that they're passing it down to their generation. Look at how, if you turn that one, you see how it's getting golden brown there? That's, that's about right. And then that's what you want to get for all of them. Once these cool, then we can put the little slit in the middle. So you can choose to cut one slit and use the spoon to open it, or you could do a V cut. That's what I'm gonna do. It's, I'm just gonna use the paring knife and cut like a like uh, a V, mm -hmm. or yeah, it's it's up to you. Just don't cut all the way. And the pieces that we're cutting off of the plantains, we're not just gonna throw away. We're gonna put those on the side of the pan here to bake along with the canuas um, because this is still a very good part of the plantain to be eaten by itself. So I'm gonna fill them with the picadillo that we made. I would say they fill with about two tablespoons. I'm gonna top them off with cheese. You can use any cheese. You can use mozzarella cheese. You really can use any cheese that you like. So we're gonna put these in the oven, 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in the oven. 20 to 30 minutes until they're four tender in the center. And here we have the finished product, canoas of Puerto Rico made in Guam. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Let's try this out. Picadillo is extremely moist and flavorful. The plantain is extremely sweet and soft. It's a good savory to sweet contrast. Mm -hmm. Try the avocado. It works perfectly. I'm gonna try the Guam avocado now for the first time ever. <laughs> Oh, it pairs perfectly with the dish. It really does. It's like, it marries together perfectly. Yeah, two cultures coming together, right? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's okay, Guam, thanks for watching and tune in for the next episode of What's, What's Cooking? Cooking. Adios. Adios.